we are going to take you through the setup for a hydrogenation reaction using palladium on carbon. We will also show you how to set up the balloon for the hydrogen gas to ensure maximum safety. For this reaction, you will need two balloons for the hydrogen gas, one pre-filled balloon of nitrogen gas, a lure lock syringe, a needle, a 100ml three neck round bottom flask, three rubber stoppers, a 100ml single neck round bottom flask, a secondary container, your palladium, your substrate, 20ml of ethanol, a magnetic stir bar, a magnetic stirrer, a filter containing sea light powder. To begin, we are first going to make our balloon for the hydrogen gas. Hydrogen is a very flammable gas, and as such, we need to take an extra level of care than we would do for other gases, such as nitrogen. If we make a nitrogen balloon, we would use a single balloon, but for hydrogen, we use two. For the two balloons, we will have to put one balloon inside of the other, like this. We will now add our balloon onto our syringe. The reason for using two is in case one balloon bursts. The other balloon can serve as a protective layer, protecting the hydrogen from the atmosphere. Hydrogen can self-detonate in air at 4% concentration without a spark. At this stage, we are going to seal our syringe and our balloon with parafilm wax strips. You could use Nesco film or sellotape, as long as you're generating a good enough seal between the balloon and the syringe barrel. There are multiple kinds of taps that you can get. This is a metal-based tap. You can also get plastic ones. As long as you have a tap that you can close off the balloon to the atmosphere. We always want to make sure we have a lure lock on our syringe. This is to ensure the adapter does not slip off unexpectedly from our syringe. And again, we have a lure lock attachment to our needle to prevent the needle coming free by accident. For the reaction setup, we are going to need our three necked round bottom flask with a magnetic stirrer inside and three rubber seals on each neck to seal. Our secondary container magnetic stirrer hot plate, clamp, and pre-weighed palladium. To start, we are going to have to evacuate our flask of its air atmosphere and backfill it with nitrogen. If there is air inside the flask, palladium dust can mix with this, causing ignition. This is more likely to happen if the reaction flask already contains solvent. To evacuate and backfill with nitrogen, we first attach a vacuum line to our flask and evacuate the flask of air. Next, we will attach our balloon containing nitrogen to the flask and allow nitrogen to fill the flask. We will now add our palladium catalyst through one of the necks to the flask. This is then followed by washing the neck of the flask with our reaction solvent, which in this case is ethanol. We can now begin stirring the reaction. It is now at this stage we can add our substrate or starting material. This has been pre-dissolved in ethanol. We can use a needle and syringe to do this to ensure we keep a dry atmosphere inside the flask. 
Next, we want to add our hydrogen gas. We will first remove our balloon of nitrogen, and then we will insert the hydrogen balloon through one of the necks of the flask. Always ensure the lure lock is in the closed position. At this stage, we are going to re-evacuate the flask by attaching the vacuum line and then backfilling with nitrogen gas once more. We will then re-evacuate one more time and now open up the lure lock to allow hydrogen to pass into the reaction flask. We have now successfully set up our hydrogenation reaction. This can be left until the reaction is complete. Once you have confirmed your reaction has finished, you can remove the hydrogen balloon from the flask, hold the syringe upwards and gently squeeze the excess gas from the balloon. The reaction flask still contains a hydrogen atmosphere, so again we will have to vent it by using a vacuum line again. Then we will add our nitrogen balloon to the top of the flask. We can now say the atmosphere inside of the flask is nitrogen and safe to open. Next, we would like to work up the reaction. We still have our palladium on carbon which is still flammable. To remove the catalyst, we are going to need a filter containing sea light and a round bottom flask. Alternatively, you could use Arpacel. First, we will equilibrate our sea light with ethanol. Next, we will pour our reaction mixture on top of the sea light and allow the solvent to pass through the filter and be collected at the bottom. This solvent should contain our product and any unreacted start material. We must never let the catalyst dry out. We must always ensure the catalyst has a solvent layer on top, like so. We can then add water, which will reduce the flammability of this material. This can now be transferred to the appropriate waste container where it is either recycled or destroyed by standard waste procedures. You can now evaporate the solvent from the round bottom flask to obtain your product. In this short video, we have covered how to set up and carry out the hydrogenation reaction using a hydrogen balloon. Added to that, we have also gone through the procedures on how to work up the reaction and dispose of the palladium catalyst.